Hello, AP Physics and Physics student. This is Mr. Duranko here with your next installment of uh, learning, remote learning on YouTube. And today we're going to talk about putting a series and parallel circuit together. And um, so I have an example here behind me and Let's get right to it. So we have, uh, as an example, a 40 volt battery that's driving these three resistors, a five, a three, and a six ohm resistor. And the first thing we have to do is the find the equivalent resistance of these three resistors. And so how you're gonna approach this is you can combine these two resistances, which are in parallel, into one resistor, and then that resistor will be in series with this resistor, and uh, that would just be adding them up, and we could easily get the equivalent resistance. So these two resistors here, 1 over R, is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6, and uh, that would be 2 over 6, that would be 3 over 6, and so the equivalent resistance of these two is a two ohm resistor. And when we put that in series with a five ohm resistance, we get equivalent resistance of seven ohms. And so that's how you handle uh, this combination of parallel and series together. The next thing we need to find is the current being drawn out of the battery. Well, if a 40 volt battery is driving a seven ohm resistor, then we can use V equals IR, 40 equals I times seven, and I would then equal, let's see, 5.7 amps. Let's circle these so we keep track of that. So, um, that's the current that's being drawn out of the battery, 5.7 amps. So we will need to find now the current in and the voltage across each of these resistors. Well, so we start out with the easiest thing to find. If there's 5.7 amps going through this resistor, then, uh, well, that's one of the things we had to find. The current in the 5 ohm resistor is equal to 5.7 amps. And using V equals IR, uh, 40 equals 5 point, whoops. Uh, if 5.7 amps is going through a 5 ohm resistor, then there is 28 volts, 28.6 volts being dropped across that resistor. And so here are two of the answers to this last part. Let's check now um, these two resistors. Well, if there's 28.6 volts being dropped here, there must be, well, this drop plus this drop has to equal that 40. So 40 minus 26, or 28.6, Eleven point four. So there's eleven point four volts dropped across the three ohm resistor and the six ohm resistor. So there's another answer. And if we know eleven point four volts is dropped across that three ohm resistor, we can use V equals I R to find the current here, and do the same uh, with that one as well. So um, V equals I R. Um, 11.4 equals I times 3. And if I calculate that, I get a current in the 3 ohm resistor of 3.8 amps. So this is the current in the 3 ohm resistor. And the current through the 6 ohm resistor would just be 11.4 divided by 6 and 1.9. And 
so you can see that if 5.7 amps is coming out of here, then there has to be, these two have to add up to 5.7 amps, and they do. 3.8 and 1.9 is 5.7. And so the conservation of charge uh, holds there as we would expect it to. So um, hopefully uh, you can follow that logic. I'll give you a problem that looks just like this in the homework, and then we'll uh, branch out and do some other stuff. Uh, hope you're staying safe. Take care, and until next video, uh, have fun.